Hey guys, Super Mario Kart 64 here, and welcome back to more Mario Party 3. Um, the project is almost over. Uh, last time we finished dual mode, and I kept my 3-3 cars. Uh, so today we're going to be doing mini game mode, which this is like the last uh, main part of the project. Um, I'm. Uh, this video is going to be a very short video. To start off mini game mode, we are going to be doing um, the mini games that we haven't seen yet. Uh, let me just choose characters first. Um, I guess I'll be Mario. Wait, how many times? Yeah, I'll be Mario. And then we'll have Wario, Peach, and Daisy as computer players. So yeah, this is going to be a very short video. It's just going to be the mini games you haven't seen first, and then we'll cover all the other parts of mini game mode. So let's get started. Mario Party 3 was the first Mario Party. I should mention this. Mario Party 3 was the first Mario Party to introduce the um, ability to. What am I trying to say? Oh, that you don't have to um, unlock mini games by purchasing them. You can just unlock them by playing them. Oh, there's a mini game I don't have yet. Oh no, I guess it's just a different color for some reason. That's kind of weird. Alright, so first we're going to be doing the minigames I haven't seen, so let me just double check and see which minigames we haven't seen. I'm pretty sure we've seen all the dual minigames. Uh, 1 versus 3, I'm pretty sure we've seen them all as well. Alright, I know there's some 4 players that we haven't seen. The first one being... Hold on, let me just find it. Uh, here we go, Pipe Cleaners. I do not believe we've uh, pl played this minigame. Alright, so hit the Baby Bowsers with the hammers. They pop out of the pipes on either side of you. Um, the Baby Bowsers will try to fool you. The player who scores the most gets coins. Alright, so Pipe Cleaners is a pretty easy minigame. You just gotta do A up, A down, or B up, B down to hit the Baby Bowsers. <laughs> The computer players are pretty stupid in this minigame, even on hard difficulty. So I'm really excited. This. I'm I'm so glad that this is finally over. Like this has been fun and all. Um, I can't say I enjoyed this project as much as Mario Party 2 because I do like Mario Party 2 a bit better. But I'm just really excited to start Mario Party 4 because I know that one of my uh, fans' favorite Mario Party is Mario Party 4. So I'm just excited to start it. And I'm confident that. I will get rid of the 3-3 curse in Mario Party 4, because Mario Party 4, I can say, is definitely one of the easier Mario Parties. Um, the difficulty does not even compare to Mario Party 3's, if you ask me. Wait, I could have sworn there was one other two, uh, four-player minigame we haven't played, is there? Pretty sure we've seen all those. Yeah, I guess just pipe cleaners. Alright, let's look at the battle minigames. Yep, looks like we've seen all those, too. I eat a mini games. Have we seen all these? I don't think we've seen Swinging with Sharks, actually. Alright, let's do Swinging with Sharks. I don't think we've seen this. A jump from the swing and land on a barrel to get an item. Timing is important. If you land in the water, you'll get nothing, so be careful. Not that it matters, because item mini games don't matter in minigame mode. Alright, let's try and get something good anyway. A dueling glove, good. If only I could actually keep it. <laughs> Alright. So obviously we haven't seen these mini games yet. But those are like extra mini games, so I'll cover those in a different video. I don't think there's any other mini games we haven't seen. There might be a two versus two we haven't seen. Let's let me check. No, I'm pretty sure we've seen all those. Oh, and by the way, I guess I should just mention now that this is Game Guy's room. Um, in order to unlock Game Guy's room, you have to get um, the Miracle Star rank in Story Mode, which is the best rank you can get for Story Mode, so you have to get mostly S ranks on the boards, which is the best rank. Um, it's very easy to do what I did to do this to get the Miracle Star rank is I just did story mode on easy difficulty and it makes it super easy. So before I end the video, I just want to double check the 
four player minigames one more time to make sure there isn't any we haven't seen yet. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, we haven't seen MPIQ. This is the other one. Good thing I remembered. Alright, MPIQ, and this is a very fun minigame. I hit the ball quickly for your chance to answer the question. The first way to reach three points wins. Um, if you hit the block in the middle of the question, you won't see the entire question. Now, before I start, I want to mention that when you play this minigame, they'll actually ask questions about the board that you're currently playing, like, who has the most coins at the moment? How many of this type of space have been landed on? But because we're doing this in minigame mode, questions like that won't be asked, so the questions are probably going to be more general this time. So this minigame changes every time. Alright, how many dice blocks? appear when you use a golden mushroom. Three. Sometimes if you know what he's gonna ask, you can interrupt him in the middle of the question. How many coins do you need to purchase the item bag? That is 30 coins. Obviously it wasn't 29. This is a, such a random price. On a battle royal map, which button do you press first to use an item, the B button. And that's MPIQ. The computer players are usually pretty slow at that mini game, so pretty easy to win. I'm the best! Okay guys, so that's it for the um, regular mini games you haven't seen. Next time we are going to be doing the battle mode, and then I'm going to be showing the extras mini games the extra mini games that we still have to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed the mini games you haven't seen. I'll see you guys next time for battle mode. Later guys.